me tell you of the days of high adventure. and salutations welcome back to some cross out with me rollin and today we're also joined by jerem stone who's a regular here on the channel with me i also got ig gaming uh who's also another youtuber uh playing and then of course duke of derp another great guy and together jerem stone and duke of derp put together this semi and trailer combination that are using the uh, retros and grenade launchers and uh, playing in combination something is super cool and i'm always impressed by when people can build something and share the parts and make one super creation. I think that would be a really fun video contest. Of course, we got IG Game here too. He's got his uh, multiple shotgun build, which uh, looks pretty slick. He definitely did a good job on that one. And uh, we're going to all stick together here and uh, kind of roll together, see if we can support each other and uh, win in some matches here is the idea. So I'm going to play security with my uh, dual Reaper truck you saw me put together in that intro. Uh, the idea behind this is it's a little less explo explodey uh, with less gas cans and stuff than my other dual Reaper build you kind of caught a glimpse of probably in the last episode. So with all the fuse drones and everything, I was like, I just need it to be a little bit tougher. I don't want anything that's um, too low of a structure that's going to blow up easily as it kind of sets off a training reaction. So with all the fuse drones and everything, I was like, okay, Let's just use something with some of the new armor I got from the Steppenwolves and Scavengers and build it uh, super tough. There we go. Taking out some of these guys. Already got a kill so far on that little uh, NPC, but let's see if we can get in here and uh, knock some of these guys off that ledge. It'd be really super helpful. We'll lay a little couple, couple in, uh, fire here on this guy. All right, he hit me pretty good there. Probably lost one of my guns. I'm pretty sure I did. But we still got one more, and I got him to back off. So good. He's coming down the ledge. Got some missiles incoming. Let's see if that uh, does some, some good damage. Looks like Jeremy's in need of some help. Let's uh, take a little cover here, but we can go and lay fire on anybody coming up the ledge here. And uh, at the same time, we'll be taking some points on the base. Got some more missiles going over there. Those guys are getting wrecked. And Turd Ferguson. <laughs> I hope that's in reference to that uh, late night talk show host. Maybe he played Cross Out too. Who knows? All right. Mr. Ferguson, if you're if you're uh, watching, definitely play some cross out with us. It'd be fun. All right, Sarah, another NPC is being taken out there by uh, Jerem, the trailer. Looks like he lost to the front side of his vehicle there. Duke of Derp's out and uh, IG Games out, but we still got Jerem, and I'm still in. Let's see if we can uh, finish this match off strong. Something happened to IG Game. He doesn't sound very thrilled about whatever happened there. All right, we got a. Shotgun guy coming in. Let's see if we can take his gun out. He's got him some of those Spitfires embedded in his uh, truck. Good build strategy. As uh, Spitfires are definitely one of my favorite shotguns. And they're only three CPU too. But I got him. Got him out of there. There we go. And that was the last kill. Nice. Uh, ended up with a victory here to start with. Let's get a couple more games. Got a new level too. Level two now for uh, the uh, Steppenwolf. So I should hopefully get some more armor unlocked too. Maybe I can add it to the truck here down the road. 
All right, let's get started. Looks like we got the uh, old satellite map. Let's uh, wait for these guys. Looks like I got to combine their truck. And I'll come out here. Kind of get a head start because I'm a little bit slower in this. I have that big engine on front, which also gives me 20% uh, quicker reloading time, which is always nice. And then I have one cooler giving me like 170% improvement. Uh, but then a little bit quicker movement, which I really need for this, this thing is super heavy. <laughs> I love that truck. That's a super cool. Um, showering down the grenades of doom on people. I do want to kind of try the retchers. It is super expensive right now. Uh oh, we got missiles coming in. Let's see if we can get out of the way here real quick. We're going to just ram through that guy. First kill, basically a bumper kill. We'll take cover here for a second as we uh, lay down some fire on these guys. Another NPC taken out. That's two kills already. Let's see. Underweather. Let's see if I can get him real quick. No more. He's losing his... Losing his guns, losing his parts. He's going to be losing his life here in a second. Looks like uh, they got separated, Jerem and Duke of Derp. I think once they're uh, disconnected, it's pretty much the rest of the game. They got to stay separated. There we go. Another one. Wow, already got four kills. This is working out. Got to keep my distance, though. All right, we got a missile guy coming in. This could be trouble. Let's see IG. Hopefully, we can get up there and take that guy out with the shotguns. Nice. Got a couple kills too. And let's see. Uh, we probably, what we got? One more guy, Bunny Lord. We could keep an eye out for him. He's probably hiding in the grass. That rascally rabbit. We're going to find him. We're going to hunt. We're going to be hunting some wabbits. All right. And uh, that rascally wabbit's got missiles. Son of a bitch. All right. Uh, well, fortunately, that's what all the extra armor was for. So we still got to layer armor over our cooler. That's why I really armed up the back. I thought everybody would be targeting it because they probably think anything explodey is going to be in the back there. But a little bit they knew, I got it uh, inside my frame under the cabin. So it's a little harder to uh, take out my explodey parts. Bunny Lord must die. Yes, we killed that wascally wabbit. And we got the victory. Good game to everybody. And let's see how we did here with our points. Um, yeah, four kills. And wow, 23-46 score. Not bad. One of my better games. All right, next match. Let's wait for these guys to uh, link up here real quick. There we go. They're connected up. And uh, we'll see if we can keep up with them here and offer a little bit of support. Got IG here too. And uh, let's see, which way do we go here? I'm just going to kind of follow uh, Duke of Derp's lead. It's like we're going right down the dead center middle. One thing I've noticed is that it certainly helps having a good team with you. Um, so, something to be said. I'm still thinking about clan names and stuff. I want to do one for sure. But I know it costs uh, 500 cash or whatever in game to make a clan. Uh, but uh, some of my friends, they're already in one. I might just uh, join up on one too as kind of maintaining the clan and stuff is a whole nether kettle of fish. So maybe I just uh, join up with one of theirs. Not sure yet. Maybe you guys can leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think I should do for clan. Could try to uh, carry something over to from uh, Robocraft, possibly. Like one of my clans there. Um, okay, here we go. We got a little covering fire. Let's see if we can take out some of these these drones. Well, they're a little far away. So let's take the guy out real quick, and the drone should disappear. Looks like he was probably a shotgun build, too. All right, he is gone. See if we take that last little missile launcher out. There we go. Got that. And we'll follow uh, Duke around the corner here. Let's see. We'll probably try to capture, I'm guessing. Haven't really taken any significant damage in this round yet. All right. Here we go. We'll lay some more covering fire down on this guy. Looks like he's got a multiple cannon build. Ouch. No guns taken off, though. Let's see. Let's strip his gun out real quick and push him around. Right to the cab. There, he's down. Apocalypse got him out. And let's see. Let's see, we only have one more. Twinkie Dinky is hiding out somewhere, taking cover. And he's got that one point, too. So let me try to counteract that one point. If I can take here and they... Oh, there we go. Somebody got him. Uh, we'll tie it up. But we got the victory. We found him. All right, so let's see. Next match. All right, and uh, got 16-13 score. Not too bad. A lot of stickers. MVP. All right, here we are. Next 
game, and uh, we're on the, I guess, uh, bridge slash stride riverbed map. I like this map a lot. It's kind of interesting. It has a lot of unique dynamics because the uh, pregame up on the hills makes a difference in how things go on the pit down below. This is also one of the most challenging uh, maps to play on, probably. And man, they got a lot of missiles. I just saw an entire swarm of missiles coming out. Looks like we're countering. I need to get up on the ledge a little further if I'm going to hit it. Oh, crap. All right, let's hide behind the rock here until those missiles are wasted. And we'll pop up. We'll lay a little covering of fire down. Hopefully get those guys off the ridge at least so they'll stop nuking our people. All right, we got a couple shots coming over there. Here comes some more missiles, though. The more missiles they fire at the rock, the better, I say. We'll keep them distracted, too. Oh, he's already relaunching. That was quick. Oh, man, he's got some way up in the air. That's probably going to hit me, too. Crap. Here, I'll just do the best I can here, hiding behind the rock. All right, a couple of them got uh, scaved off. I guess we probably better get down on the pit. This is not doing a lot of good, and we're losing people. We already got uh, IG game out. But we still got Jerimstone and Duke of Dirt. Hopefully they're coming down. Yep, they're already in the pit here. A couple missiles coming up. We'll see if we can get a couple shots on him. And it looks like we're a little behind, so we're going to have to try to play catch up here. Halen, we'll take him out real quick, hopefully. Okay, he's backing out. But this is a great spot. Looks like everybody's kind of ignoring me. We'll just lay down some covering fire here real quick as uh, Duke and uh, Jerem hopefully blow them up with their grenade launchers. Nope. No tow today, sir. That's one of the nice things about these miniguns is you can just strip missiles out of the air. As long as you get them both going. Alright, looks like he's coming in. A couple more shots, he should be dead. Those coolers working. Get those coolers working. Nice. Bunny Lord, he's back. That wascally wabbit with his wh missile launchers. Wrong way if you're going to try to hit me with those things. Those dual hurricanes are pretty devastating, though, but you just can't. Can't do them close range unless you get them configured right. And plus, you got to shoot at me. <laughs> They're not that stretchy. All right, let's charge Bismarck here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> yes! I got all his missiles, the entire thing. I think he's going to get away, though. It's one-to-one. -one. At least we got it evened up, but I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him in time if he uh, runs around the corner. <laughs> they seem to be a fan of me knocking those missiles out of the sky. Yep. Yeah. All right. It's a draw. It's better than a loss, so at least we got things evened up there with all the missiles. So I was a little worried about uh, losing that round. And Duke of Dirt pulled out the MVP. Very nice. All right, let's see. Last and final match here. We're talking about taking a coffee break. We've been playing for a little while, so we probably will take a little break after this round. Let's get uh, Jeremy Duke linked back up. And IG Gain. Got, got our crew all together here. Getting blasted. Looks like he's actually got some shotguns. I thought those were mis uh, grenade launchers. But they're uh, little shotguns. That works too. And I guess he's also got some side shotguns in that trailer. That works out. All right. Got the wretchers going off. Those things just look deadly. You can just coat an entire area with uh, explosions. And it looks like somebody on our team has probably got a uh, howitzer too, which is nice. All right, let's charge up towards their team. If we can mow through these guys, we can get uh, on their pad, finish up this game quickly. I right, got some nice covering fire here on this guy. What does he even got it as those weapons on there? I didn't even see a weapon. Maybe we stripped them out so quickly that I didn't even notice them. This guy's got some machine guns. Uh-oh. Just got rammed with the shotgun builds. Not good. All right, at least we got away from him. IG, Duke, save me. This guy's not <laughs> hes not going to leave me alone. All right, there we go. We'll just, we can get a couple shots on him by spinning around in a circle. Uh-oh, we only got one front wheel left. All right, now, to, now for some revenge. You evil bastard. There we go. 
taken out. All right, that's our second kill. Not bad. And let's see if we can crawl our butt over to their, uh, the base and take that real quick. Let IG and Duke get in there real quick. They only got uh, two more guys, Slap Crazy and LaRock, or whatever that was. He's already gone. All right, nice. Got our last little victory there. Well, those matches went pretty well, and I'm pretty happy with the performance on this uh, dual minigun, uh, what I'm calling it, uh, the Reaper Titan. Uh, let's see, we got a uh, pretty good score there. Top half of the board, at least, and the other teammates, too, uh, pulling out a real nice score. And then there's our uh, new parts, too. I'll have to incorporate that into my builds here a little later. And uh, we'll continue to level our account up here. Well, we've been at it for a little bit. We're going to take a break, and uh, this is going to wrap things up for this episode as well. If you guys enjoyed this, definitely leave a thumbs up and let me know what you might like to see in a future episode of Cross Out. If there's another game you might like to see, leave me a message on that below, and I'll see you in the very next episode. Later.